The official Coin Ops Next 2 is finally here, and man, is it gorgeous. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stock standalone build, and how to go ahead and add both the new Coin Ops Next 2 official packs, as well as how do you get your old ROMs, your old Coin Ops builds, onto this newer build. It's quite easy, a lot of drag and drop, and it's as beautiful as ever. So let's go ahead and check it out and show you how to set it all up. So I've just downloaded CoinOps Next 2. I went ahead and 7-zipped Extracted All, and I'm left with this directory here. And I have Xbox 360 style controller plugged in. We'll check out the FAQs later, but let's just go ahead and launch it up to begin with. This might seem familiar to you, the load up screen for this particular. So on first boot, you'll notice that you start in favorites, and these are some of your favorite systems. You can add and remove those very easily. You can go up to all, and you can see every single system, every single menu, including the settings menu, and all the systems. Um, Nintendo Wii, PlayStation 3, PlayStation computer games, Open Bore, Atari, you name it. Then you have your last played. Then you have your arcade. And again, there's all these run and gun fight club. There's different um, categories like this, but you can also then sort by the console itself, like a Thomas Wave, Laser Disc System, Model 2, Naomi, things like that. You then have analog games, right? Games that have analog controllers, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Wii, etc. Nintendo 64. You then have your D-pad games, or games without analog sticks. And then you have your portables here, Game & Watch, Game Boy Colors, things like that. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful, beautiful system, very responsive. Then you have your computer-based games, and lastly, you're in settings. Cool thing about settings, is it gives you a preview of what exactly that setting is going to do when you click it. The other cool thing about these settings is they're built into the menu so you don't have to exit the system to take change. So pretty standard stuff from old coin ops, shutdown scripts, background music, and the theme itself. Now the thing, this download is about 10 gigabytes and it's gonna give you all those assets um, that we're looking at right now. Like I said, a lot of really beautiful stuff. Look at the Super Nintendo, PSP, but there's no actual games. You'll notice if I click into this, nothing happens at all. So, what I'm going to do next is show you how to obtain the games and packs so that you can go ahead and add your packs on. The thing I want to point out is that in their FAQ section, they have now brought out three types of packs, trusted, official, and unofficial. And they explain each one, but really quickly right off the bat, if you can get trusted packs, I would. I would not necessarily be so scared of unofficial packs myself, but for somebody who's new in the scene, you definitely wanna make sure you know who you're getting your pack from. Um, and really, I don't think it's so much to get viruses, although be careful about that. I think it's just more about people bricking it or breaking it where they're maybe adding some sort of script or custom code, which if you don't know what you're doing, it could you know start removing games or mess up your whole coin ops experience. So that's why I might stick with the trusted and official packs if possible. That being said, there are now been released a ton of these trusted packs for coin ops next two as you see here. Wii, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, PSP, Sega Saturn, Scum VM. So if you're just starting out from scratch, I would definitely consider downloading a trusted pack and starting from there. Some of you have your existing coin-op packs or existing coin-op builds and would probably like to use those ROMs and I'll show you how right now. So on the right over here, I have an unofficial coin-ops next build. And if I go over here to collections, this is a build that already has Nintendo 64, a bunch of other things. 
So let's just say I want to bring my old Nintendo 64 pack over to the new CoinOps Next 2 over here. All I would do is find the corresponding folder. And again, remember I told you this new CoinOps 2, look how many different systems this is supporting. That's a lot. If we hold shift over 100. Oh, did I get them all? I didn't get them all. Um, there's some subcategories here, but yeah, around 100. And so for this, all you need is the artwork and the ROMs. You don't need the launchers. You don't need the playlists. You don't need the system artwork. All you're trading over is the artwork and the ROM. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Although these are going from different hard drives, I could drag and drop as well. But be careful if you drag and drop from the same hard drive, you might actually be removing them from you know, the original spot. So Pr Nintendo 64 official, they also have a Nintendo 64 Project 64 subfolder. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in here. Copy and paste and transfer those over. I also a big fan of Super Nintendo. So let's go ahead and add those over as well. Or actually let's just do regular Nintendo since they're small. As far as the arcade set, I really wanna add the CoinOps Next official arcade set. So I'm gonna wait to do that. So we're adding our Nintendo. And then let's do a different system. Let's go ahead. PlayStation 1 is really big. I think PSP, I don't have that many ROMs, right? So let's go ahead and do PSP as a Sony. Once this is done transferring, all we're gonna do is relaunch CoinOps here once this is done. So here's my Nintendo 64. So let's just go ahead and load GoldenEye, for example. And then let's try PSP. that lap time performance difference though got better each time all right <sighs> okay so in summary wow 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 i really liked coin ops because of the arcade set it had and the scan lines and the easy dot bat files to easily you know add and and mess around with the actual um 
you know, emulators. I'm going to just show you here really quick. If you go over here to, you know, advanced configurations, you've got these additional things of changing the cabinet CRT, bezel CRT. So for arcade games, I feel like CoinOps has a special place in my heart because it's very much rooted into that and it's a wonderful arcade experience. As far as for consoles, I, you know, co you know, uh, you know, LaunchBox, just run regular old retro arc, whatever you're running on is um, plenty good. I guess where CoinOps excels is the easeability and also the visuals as well. I feel like it's a very unified and, and some very high quality graphics now, especially if you stick with like the, the, the trusted sources. But those advanced fi configurations are awesome. The way it's all set up for you is really awesome. It's using a minimal amount of emulators. There's no rocket launcher to mess with. So with all those regards, it's freaking amazing. There's an easy way to restore your defaults if you ever mess something up. So it's fairly user friendly that way as well. So for all those reasons, I really like it a lot. Now remember, CoinOps is just, it's a, fits on top of Retro FE. So Retro FE really deserves some credit here as well. Um, with all that being said, uh, I will probably convert my CoinOps Next build into CoinOps Next 2. It just is a superior build in my mind. And like I said, it's just so easy to use. So there you have it, CoinOps Next 2 looking great two thumbs up from my end remember that you know about the packs but uh as far as uh system requirements it's actually a really common question let's actually go into the faq really quick um minimum requirements you know it just needs windows vista or newer um yes they have a discord channel and they're actually very helpful there there's a link right there uh, most controllers are are uh supported um, wow, it even goes into light gun. I guess some people are really, I'm surprised it's very niche. Not a lot of people use this with light gun, but that's great. I have a light gun build and I really like it with coin ops. And then uh, a couple things about the different, uh, bat files that'll change your, uh, your screen. So, um, it doesn't require a lot. Very, very small system requirements. Um, coin ops, you know, was born out of, you know, the Xbox. And uh, now it's for PC. It's looking good, looking great. Like I said earlier in the video, look at all these systems that it supports. And because it's on the PC, I have a very powerful PC, by the way. I have a RTX 2060 and I have a 9th gen i7 processor. So it's way overkill for this. Um, but you could probably get away with you know an i5 or better and play the majority of these games, especially if you can get a dedicated graphics card like a 1030 or 1050 or better would be the way I would go about it. The other thing is this games for Windows is amazing. You can play Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4. You can get Fortnite to auto launch from this game launcher. Any Steam game you can get to launch from this launcher. So this can replace as your default, um, you know, you can have your whole computer boot into this to start. And then that way you don't even need to use a mouse and keyboard. Your whole computer can run off of a Xbox controller if you wanted to. So there's a lot of possibilities here and I know a lot of you go in different directions. I just wanted to showcase this off. Again, two thumbs up. I'm enjoying it. Let me know if you'd like to see some more packs or some other videos. I'm happy to check those out. And uh, thanks again to the CoinOps community and all the people over there contributing and making this a really successful build.